Hello guys, me Karin Santos, aka Karin Lafat, and welcome to part 4 of the iRacing Crash Compilation for the 2023 iRacing season. So, the 4 tracks that I'm going to do that are included in my videos are New Hampshire, Daytona, Martinsville, and Chicago. Well, I mean Chicagoland and Kansas, sorry. There's actually 5, but yeah. I Mess that one up, so let's move on. So, as you can see in these videos, as the rate as the season went on, I crashed less, and but still, in the past few, um, as far as last week is concerned, yeah, I've had bad luck and been making contact with people that are in front of me, and then I pile into them, so. Yeah, both Chicago Land and Kansas were the two tries I had issues, but anyways, Chicago Land, I got a sixth place finish. Kansas was the nineteenth place, so I hope I can get better at the these kind of ra race tracks so I can contend for wins, you know, and try to strategize and <coughs> do everything I can to reach that first place so, and win you know and so I'm gonna explain the first few videos on the clip including the hamster so so I believe it was the Xfinity series and then Gen 4 Cup that I raced in New Hampshire and yeah I'm really bad at flat tracks you know like my mercy is run the high lane and keep the momentum up, but when I run the low lane, it just doesn't work, you know, and eventually it uh, wears the tires a lot, and that's why if you're in the back of the pack, you're more likely to crash, so I can just say that mm, I need a test at this track more, so that's pretty much it for the New Hampshire races, so and then here at Daytona, it, it was at the Xfinity race, and oh man, it was a grind. People didn't want to stop crashing, and fortunately enough, I got a top five, uh, I mean, top ten finish, so man, it's a super speedway, man. Can you be patient enough to just run in a straight line and just... Hold on to the steering wheel very tight without making contact with anybody. <laughs> Man, that race took over an hour to do. So, that's enough for that video. Martinsville, it's been recently, but yeah, it's Martinsville, and if it happened in the front of the pack, and I just caught up in it, and you know, and just, uh, when am I going to catch a break? I mean, in Cup, I got a top 10 finish. Now here in Martinsville, it's like a top 15 at worst. So, yep, that was Martinsville. And then here are the two more recent races I ran as far as last week was, was concerned. And that's Chicago Land for the Xfinity Series and the Next Gen Cup car. Kansas, so so I'll talk about Chicago Land first. I believe Xfinity Series is the right series for me to run consistently, even though in Cup that's my priority. So yeah, yeah, I was in the front of the pack in the overtime finish, but the thing is, caught up in two instances, one in the back strip, and the one where I try to. Not make contact near the turn four area of the track, but I just still got caught up in it and one spot short of a top five. So <coughs> that was a great run for me. And I would have gotten my first top five since like springtime, which is so long. But anyways, uh, on to Kansas. Next gen car didn't run that well. Tried to shift from fifth to fourth a majority of the time, and 
The car is all great. It's just I don't have the pace to close in on guys that are in front of me and ever to get side by side racing, but that's basically the product of the gen X gen car now and uh, you got in the <coughs> independent rear suspension, you have the rear diffuser, which affects aerodynamics a lot in these cars, so yeah, so so these are the six, I repeat, six video clips that I've compiled from this summer, I believe, till now. And hope it can get better in 2024 is a lot better season. So so I make Cap Car Top 5. I want you to sit back, relax, and enjoy for all these cross compilations and rate from one to ten. How you feel about my driving so peace out Uh, I'm a Capricorn 5. Hope you all have a great day and peace out. Yeah, uh -huh.